guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to today's video. So today's video is the start of a little mini travel series that I'm doing. So it's going to be the first of travelling videos with children. So in today's video it's going to be what to pack for four kids. Now a bit of background, we are travelling to France to a very remote area in central France and it has a little nearby it has a pharmacy nearby and it has a washing machine so i'm going to take that into account when i'm showing you what to pack because obviously what you pack depends on where you're going if i was going on a tui kind of all-inclusive holiday i'll be taking slightly different things obviously the kind of basis is the same but a little bit different so it's very casual where we're going very relaxed you don't kind of need to take loads of different outfits because you don't, there's not really any restaurants to go to in the evening. There's a few, but you don't go out every single night. You mainly cook in the house or do barbecues and things like that. So take that into consideration, obviously, when you see what I'm packing, because everyone is going to need slightly different stuff, just depending on where you're going, how long you're going for. We are going for eight nights and we're also driving. So... The good thing about that is I don't need to worry about weight limits because that is obviously a massive thing when you're traveling with kids is weight limits and all that kind of stuff. It's it's a bit of a headache. Um, I've always managed to work it out. So I have four children if you're new to my channel and I've traveled with them quite a lot. We love doing it as a family and um, weight limits can be interesting, but I've always got there in the end. But this time we have no weight limits, which is nice. And as we're driving, I can take as much or as little as I want. I don't want to overdo it. I really don't want to overdo it because it, it just kind of adds more stress. And taking too much can just be a lot because you don't kind of need it all. And yeah, I'm rambling now. But taking into account, obviously, there is a little there. So I'm going to buy all of our toiletries over there. So like things like shampoo and all that kind of stuff. I'm going to buy over there. So um, it's nice to know that that's nearby. So first thing is first, let's get started with the baby stuff. So I have twin girls that are seven months old. So this is what I'm packing for them. Okay, so let's start off with kind of toiletry section. So I'm going to take a pack of nappies. Obviously, as I said, I have two babies, so that will not be enough for a week. But as there is a little out there, I'm going to buy some nappies out there just to make it a bit easier with fitting everything in. Obviously, if I was going somewhere where I couldn't buy nappies, I wouldn't be able to do that. But one pack will be fine. I'm also going to put a load in my nappy bag as well for the car. I'll talk about more what's in my nappy bag when I film our road trip. I'm also going to put in some baby wipes and then some cowpole just for an emergency um, on the way in the car, things like that. I'm then going to pack some Factor 50, some Sudocreme, and then just some baby hair and body wash, which I actually got given in a set when the girls were born. So things like that are perfect to take on holiday because they're just the right size. I'm then going to take the girls a swimming costume each. Now, they're not actually probably going to go swimming. Um, where we're going doesn't have a pool. It has a big lake which you go to. And I don't know what the girls are going to think of it. So I've got two swimming costumes for them. As I said, there is a washing machine. So if they wear it loads, then I can wash it. I then have a load of vests just because it's going to be very warm in France. And I think they will be sleeping in their vests and a sleeping bag. So um, this is all of their vests. So I've taken extra just in case they have 11 vests each. I'd rather have more vests than not enough vests, so um, that's definitely enough vests for us. I've then got their outfit out, which we're going to need for the first leg of our road trips. So this is going to be their pyjamas on our first road trip stop. And this is then going to be their outfit, which they wear on the ferry over to France. So I'm going to make sure I put that probably in a separate bag, actually, to the suitcase, just so I don't have to take the suitcase in for our first road trip stop. And I then have quite a few muslin squares because you can never have enough <laughs> so yeah I've got quite a few I've then got two more jumpers just in case it is forecast to be very warm in France but sometimes you know things go wrong it gets cold it gets rainy so yeah some more jumpers which will be clean 
obviously because they're going to wear these jumpers over on the ferry and then when we get there they'll have two new clean jumpers just in case they don't have time to wash them or something like that. I then have 11 outfits each and a few hats. I also have another hat which is in the car, some bonnets, um, yeah this cute little hat I got from Primark and I do have a straw hat for them which is already in the car actually so yeah and I, I got these bonnets because it's going to be quite windy on the ferry and we're getting the ferry at 7am so it is going to be windy so um, got the bonnets for that. I then have up here their outfits for travelling home in so I'm not going to put them on them for the duration of the trip I'm going to save those for our coming home ferry journey. Okay so never actually underestimate how much you can get in a small hand luggage size suitcase. I've literally got all of that stuff I've shown you minus the baby wipes and minus the stuff they're wearing for travelling in into this suitcase. It was a bit of a squeeze, had to push it down but it's all in. Nappies are in there, all their clothes and it won't be being reopened until we arrive in France. So bedding wise, obviously the girls are going to be in travel cots and I think there is bedding out there but just in case I'm going to take two cot sheets and they're going to take two blankets and two sleeping bags. Now if there wasn't a washing machine I would obviously take more but my plan is to just wash it all when I'm out there and um, dry it in the sun because it's going to be lovely and hot, it will dry straight away and then reuse it. So that obviously is not going to fit in the girl's hand luggage case. So I'm going to put that in to the big suitcase we're taking. So now moving on to the boys stuff. So I have a six year old and a very nearly four year old. So um, it's much easier to pack for them. You don't need nappies. You don't need to worry about all that. You don't need to worry about all those kind of little stuff that obviously gonna sleep in proper beds. So you don't need to take any bedding, sleeping bags. So it is a little bit simpler. So where we are staying does have towels, but I'm gonna take some more just in case. So these are two light beach towels for the boys. And then we have some red ones, which we got from Disney many moons ago. So they are gonna go into the big suitcase that we're taking, which is gonna share the big items and mine and Jordan stuff. The other things I'm gonna put in the big suitcase, which I'll show you now, are the swim nappies for the girls. As I said, I don't know how much swimming they'll be doing, but I'm gonna take a pack just in case. And then my four-year-old's flotation device. So we've had this for a few years and it is brilliant. He's really safe in it and um, obviously he's supervised at all times, but this just gives us a bit of extra peace of mind. I prefer it to armbands just because it gives an extra bit of protection around this area and um, it's how my big boy learnt to swim with something similar. This is Zogs and uh, I really like Zogs swimming stuff. So shoes wise, I'm going to take the boys a couple of pairs of Smarter style sandals. So these are from H&M. And they're so lovely and they look really nice on the boys. And they're going to take Jessie's Marvel pool sliders. And Jensen also has a pair of pool sliders, but they're in the car. So um, he'll be taking them too. And then obviously they're going to have their trainers, which they will be wearing while they're new vans, which they love. So um, yeah, they'll be wearing them over on the ferry. And then I'm going to take them a hat each. These are Spider-Man hats I got from Primark. They're toothbrushes. And then here is all of the clothes I'm going to take for them. Now a lot of it does need ironing so I'm going to put some in a pile that I need to iron but here's their travel outfits which includes shorts, a t-shirt and a jumper so they will have a jumper. Here are all of Jensen's shorts which I'm taking including swimming shorts. Here are all of his t-shirts. As I said I'd rather take more than not have enough even though we do have a washing machine. I don't want to be using it loads I'd rather keep that for the girls' stuff, just because that will need washing. And then I've got some vests for him as well. And then here are all of Jessie's shorts, including swim shorts. And then Jessie's vests and his t-shirts. So I have a nice little ironing pile, not loads, because most of the stuff I don't need to iron, but a couple of bits and bobs like this for the girls. Not much for the girls actually, it's more the boys' stuff that needs ironing. But I'm going to do that. I usually iron as I go, so I don't usually do a whole block. I'll iron as I go. And this is such a cool iron. I got it from John Lewis. And it is a T-Felt iron slash steamer. It's a little bit mixed up. <laughs> yeah, T-Felt slash iron steamer. 
it's really good. It was pricey, but um, it's a perfect iron for me and I love it. So I'm going to iron all of the bits and bobs that I need to and then get them packed up into the case. Okay, so all of that is ironed and I'm going to attempt to fit the boys clothes in here. I thought I'd show you how I fold it. Try not to remove my ironings efforts but of course it is inevitable that when clothes go in suitcases they're not going to be as crease free as if they were hanging up or something like that but it's all good I've done this loads of times and it comes out pretty well to be fair so I just lay everything in as flat as I can and then just pile it up and to be fair it usually comes out pretty well so let's see how I get on with fitting it all in and I am back so I stopped filming yesterday because I started to feel brain fuzzy. Now, I wrote this on my Instagram and a couple of people were like, I know exactly what you mean. So I had a really bad night with the twins the night before and by about 1pm, 2pm, my brain just started to feel fuzzy and I just felt like I couldn't process any information. Anyway, I feel much better today after a much better sleep. And I'm going to crack on with the kids packing. So where was I? I was just finishing off the boys packing. So I've put most things in the suitcase. I just need to add a few more bits and do that suitcase up. I put a couple more pyjamas in there for the girls. I've managed to fit their shoes in this case and then their hats are there. So I'm going to do this up and that is most of the kids stuff done. As you can see, the main case is also filling up. I see Jordan started putting some of his bits in there last night. I've got to put all my stuff in there too, but I am not gonna go over the top at all. I'm gonna try and be really minimal. So wish me luck with that. In this bag here, I'm going to put in all of the travel stuff that we're gonna need for our first leg of the journey, so our first hotel stop. So in this bag, as well as the girls' nappy bag, which I'm going to pack is just all of our travel stuff, the stuff that we're going to need that first night in the hotel before we get the ferry. So I've got toothbrushes in there, pyjamas, and then the travel outfits that they're going to wear. Just so, just so we don't have to take the whole suitcases into the first hotel, we can just carry this little bag and of course the girls changing bag. Please excuse the most random outfit I'm wearing. I'm rapidly running out of clothes to wear. I don't want to take on holiday and as it's only a day I'm not wearing a thing that I want to take so well might throw these in but anyway we'll see the kids tablets so on their tablets as we are doing a road trip but I would do this if we were traveling anywhere I'm going to download things that they can watch so if I go on to the sky store player I can download all of the movies that we have on our sky store onto their iPads I can also go onto Netflix and BBC iPlayer which is a brilliant app where you can download everything from CBBS and CBBC on to the kids tablets and then they can just watch it so let's see what we've got got quite a few movies on Sky Store I can download um, it does take a while though that's the only thing on Sky Store so you need to be selective on what you download on what iPad but um, I'm gonna do my best. Here are a few of the things I'm taking in the girls' nappy bag. So we have our powdered milk. This won't fit actually in the nappy bag, so I'll pop this in a backpack or something like that. I will take milk just because I'm unsure of what milk they'll have out there as it's a different country. So I'm gonna take my own SMA and I will take, I'm gonna to have to take three tubs of SMA, Twin Life. I'm then going to take quite a few of these so the girls can drink them on the journey over there. So I'm going to have to go down the shop and stock up on those. I'm then obviously going to have a load of nappies in my nappy bag, the girls' water bottles, baby wipes and muslins. And that is just a few essentials. I've also got a change of clothes in there too. So this is what we managed to get down at the shop. A whole load of ready-to-go SMA formula which is what the twins drink we got 11 um, 
cartons and basically one carton is one bottle so that's 11 bottles which will be more than enough for the way there on the road trip and hopefully we'll have enough for the way back as well so we're going to pop these in the car and hope for the best no we'll be absolutely fine best way when traveling with kids is to just relax and expect the unexpected and be open to being flexible and try and enjoy it because if you're not going to enjoy it then kind of what's the point and I remind myself of that as well because I get very uptight sometimes about traveling with kids and making sure everything's there and all that kind of stuff but you've just got to enjoy it because you have to laugh or you might cry at times when you get so stressed out but yeah thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i shall see you guys soon